Hello, I want to explain to you in this video one of the most basic ideas in economics, which is why demand curves slope downwards. Demand curves slope downwards when plotted against price and quantity, which means that if the price of a good rises from P1 to P2, then of course we buy less of it, and vice versa. If the price falls, we buy more of it. It seems so obvious and basic uh, to consider that. But it requires explanation, and we can explain it through the, through the impact of two effects. The substitution effect and the income effect. The substitution effect occurs as the price rises, it tells the consumer to buy less, minus, less of the good. Because the substitution effect says that when the price of a good goes up, other alternatives to this good appear suddenly more attractive, relatively more attractive, because their price has not changed. So people buy less of this good because alternatives, substitutes, are appearing more attractive, and they switch their demand to those goods. Secondly, also occurring, is the income effect. And the income effect for normal goods for normal goods is also negative, meaning that when the price of a good rises, the real income of a consumer has fallen. They can't buy what they used to buy with their, with their wage. And so, as their real income falls, they buy less of the normal good. So for most goods, when the price of a good goes up, for both reasons, for both the substitution effect and the income effect, less is bought. That's why when price goes up, less is bought. Now, some exceptions. Inferior goods, remember, are goods that have a negative income elasticity of demand. That means when our income rises, we buy less of this good. And when our income falls, we buy more of it. A classic example is bus tickets. If our income goes up, we buy less bus tickets because we can now afford a taxi or we can afford to buy a car. Well, remember, when the price, the price, not the income, when the price of a good rises, the income effect for an inferior good is positive because our real income will have fallen when the price of a good goes up. Our real income has fallen. And so, if it's an inferior good, as our real income falls, we buy more of the good. So with inferior goods, there is a bit of a conflict between the income effect, which is saying buy more of the good, and the substitution effect, which says buy less of the good. But for the vast majority of inferior goods, the substitution effect outweighs the inferior, uh, the, the income effect. And so we still buy less of the good. The substitution effect outweighs the income effect. Even though the income effect for an inferior good is telling us buy more of the good, we don't because the substitution effect outweighs it and we still buy less of the good when its price goes up. The one exception to that is a Giffen good. A Giffen good is very unusual. It has an upward sloping demand curve. A Giffen good we actually buy more of when the price goes up. And that's because, again, these two effects. With a Giffen good, there are no substitutes. And so there is no substitution effect. And also with a Giffen good, a Giffen good is a special kind of inferior good. So even though when the price went up, our income has fallen, real income, we buy more of it. And so the positive impact for the inferior Giffen good of, in of the income effect outweighs the substitution effect. There are no substitutes to, to, to buy instead of buying this good. And so with a given good, the price goes up, we actually buy more of the good. There is the demand curve. It seems strange to draw it, but there is the demand curve for a given good. When the price goes up, we buy more of the good because the income effect is outweighing the substitution effect. Very unusual. Some economists don't even accept that given goods actually exist. But the reason why, for the vast majority of goods, the demand curve slopes downwards 
is because the substitution effect and the income effect are both combining to tell the consumer buy less of this good. Buy more of the substitutes, says the substitution effect, because the substitutes now look relatively more attractive, and buy less of the good also on the income effect because your consumer, your, your, your real income has fallen once the price of the good has gone up, and so you should buy less of the good if it's a normal good. Okay, so the substitution effect and the income effect combining together have the impact of telling the consumer buy less of the good when the price goes up. And that, if you were able to follow it, is why demand curves for the vast, vast, vast majority of goods slope downwards. Thank you.